Hi guys, Barry here. I was going to write an email about this, but it's so cool and I've got so much to show you that I thought I would shoot this short video for you instead. And um, it may turn into a bit of a long video, but there you go. It's worth it, guys, because what I've got to show you here is massive and totally awesome and definitely something that is going to help your business. Okay, a little bit of backstory first. About a year ago, I took a punt on a pilot program for a new software product. Now, I've done this before. I did it with Thrivecon, did it with one or two others. And sometimes, mostly, it works out good. And this has worked out immense. Okay, so the product was a Convert Bar, it was called, uh, by a guy called Dean Saunders. Uh, it came with the highest of recommendations, and I had a look at it, and I thought, I could use that. And basically, what Convert Bar was all about was creating bars which would appear at the bottom or the top of a site as a call to action. And if you look up now, you'll see a Convert Bar appearing above this site. That big red thing is a Convert Bar. And you could customize them, you could put calls to action on them, you could put links on them, you could put even an opt-in form in them, a video in them, but they were always a bar on the top or the bottom. Now, what I want you to do, just so as it's not distracting, is there's no link on there or anything, what I want you to do is to go, in there's a little uh, white X in the corner of that red bar, just do me a favor, go up and click that and close it out so as we're not focusing on that anymore. Okay, have you done that? That's great. So that was convert bar, but not long after I got it and I started using it. And, the, and, and one of the questions that people ask me, well, why am I using that when I can make one in convert tree or I can make one in InstaBuilder 2? Why would I use convert bar to do it? And there's a very good reason for that. And it was centralization and stats. It meant I could deploy convert bars on lots of different sites from one central control panel and I could track all the stats in one place. So any website I could put a convert bar on, I could just go into the one place and see the stats for it. And that was really good for me. Okay, so not long after I got access, Dean Saunders announced that he wanted to take this to a whole different level. He wanted to develop this software and make it into something called convert box rather than convert bar. And he wanted to do, and, and he laid out a roadmap of stuff. And I thought he's not going to be able to do all this stuff. It, it's going to be totally bloody incredible. And anyway, two days ago, it was ready and it has been released. I've just been in and accessed the product myself. And it is bloody awesome. And I want to take you through now a little bit about why I think this is something that you should definitely get hold of. Okay, so what is ConvertBox? Well, it allows you not just to make bars like ConvertBar, but it allows you to make boxes as well. And this is a typical ConvertBox here. Um, you've got branding on there, it looks really attractive. On this one, you've got a headline, a subheadline, a video, you've got um, a, a, a opt-in form there and a, and a countdown timer. I'm going to take you through that in a minute, but I just wanted to really give you an idea. And I'll, Dean's going to show you how you put these together, right? And give you a little walkthrough. But I just wanted to, before he does that, I want to just take you through some of the reasons why this is a great idea. First of all, it allows you to target visitors based on their behavior. Now, this is huge. This is the future of email marketing, of, of online communication for business. You need to put the right information that's applicable to that person at the right time. Okay, for example, if somebody is um, learning to play guitar, okay, and they've they've only just they've just gone out to a music shop and they've bought themselves a guitar. They do not know what to do at all. Then it would be pointless having that person click on something which is going to give them more advanced information about you know, blue scales and that sort of thing. What they want to know is the basics. So wouldn't it be great if they could go and see the basics? And if somebody else who's more further on down the line visits your site, they get to see something that is applicable to them, a little bit more advanced. And that's the same in, in any online business, okay? So this is huge. 
And this means that you are going to get more leads. It means that you're going to get more people that are engaging with your content. It means that people are going to um, trust you more. They're going to like what you put out more. They're going to be looking forward to your emails, looking forward to your notifications because you give them relevancy. Okay, so that's that's huge. Generate leads. Obviously, we've seen that boost sales. Okay, so you can do on-site behavioral uh, profiling. So if somebody goes to a thank you page, you know that that person has bought that product. So you can just target people that haven't done that. Okay, so people return visitors who haven't bought, you can uh, show them a different message. You can reduce cart abandonment. For example, you could put a little box that on an exit, when somebody goes to exit, let's say a Thrive Cart um, payment cart, shopping cart, it might come up saying, hey, don't leave yet. If you've got a question about this, I'd love to answer it. You know, just fill in the question below or something like that. Okay, so you can reduce cart abandonment. This is huge. Look at this. Two-step calls to action. So a little box pops up uh, after a certain time or after they've scrolled down the page a certain amount and it says, hey, how would you like to know more about this product or this service or how to do this or how to do that? And if they click the button, it opens up another convert box with a video and opt-in form, a bit like this one here, for example. And the video can explain to them a little bit about it and you, they pop their email in. Bob's your uncle, you've got a lead. You've got countdown timers, evergreen and uh, date specific. This is huge. This is ma this is segmenting people, segmenting people before they've ever even subscribed. This is the guitar example I just showed you. So you can create a convert box with three buttons or however many buttons you like on it. One, two, three buttons. This time there's choice A, B and C. And you can have it. So if they click A, this something happens up here. In this case, there's an image, some text, and a button which leads to a discount coupon or something, whatever that is there. Button B takes them to uh, some text and a button there, and that takes them to a link. Okay, so that could be a sales page. Button C gives them a video, and that may be an opt-in form there. So this could be, you know, are you a beginner guitar player, intermediate, or expert? And you can show them different things dependent on what they this is segmenting before they've even subscribed this is like a survey tool a whole survey tool all in one and don't forget they're not leaving your page while this happens these things happen these little these little pop-ups happen as a consequence of them pressing these buttons and they're still little pop-ups they're not being sent to a page yet so it's all inside your site um this is coming where you can personalize these things um, you can take people through and based on their behavior, not show them again. So you could be, um, so people that have seen the free training video, you can try and get on a webinar next. And when they register for the webinar, uh, you don't need to show them that again, but then they're a customer. If they're not a customer yet, you can show them a different one. Okay. So you can have complete campaigns for these things. The styles, you can have them come in on the side. You can have the bar, like the one that we showed you. The modal box, which is like a traditional pop-up center of the page. You can have a full page even. Come up on a full page. And you can customize everything. And at that point, I'm going to hand this video over to Dean Saunders, who is going to take you through how simple it is to set one of these things up. Okay, and uh, I'm going to seek that video in now. So I'm going to let Dean take you through that. Okay. Hey guys, it's Dean here and I'm super excited because uh, I want to show you guys finally inside the platform, inside ConvertBox. So let's go ahead and log into the platform and I can show you guys around. Okay, so this is the dashboard for ConvertBox and you'll probably recognize some similarities here between uh, ConvertBar and ConvertBox. We have got some of the DNA of ConvertBar here when we developed this platform, specifically the uh, simplicity of the platform. And uh, before we get started uh, taking a look around and looking at the features and different things, I just want to say that we've put a huge amount of time and energy 
into uh, not only making sure this platform is powerful and flexible for you guys, but also extremely simple and intuitive to use. Because I'm sure you guys have used platforms in the past where, you know, they've got 101 features, but it's just a convoluted mess and it either takes you days to figure out how to use the platform with your site or you just don't end up using it because it's horrible uh, user experience. So our goal with ConvertBox was that you could come here into your account and you can create an offer, either a one-time offer, a promotion, a call to action, or an entire campaign. And you can do that in just a couple of minutes and have it on your site. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the platform that uh, you'll be getting your hands on very soon. Um, I'm not going to be able to show you every feature of the platform because that would make this a very, very long video. But um, I think the best way for me to show you quickly over the platform is if I just give you a quick overview of the dashboard and then I go ahead and create a convert box and I can show you some of the uh, features while I'm doing it. So starting off here, as I said, this is the dashboard and up here at the top left, you've got your site selection. You can add your sites here when you go to, uh, to manage my sites and you can select the site that you uh, want to manage. And then beneath that, we've got the uh, overall stats for that particular site. And we do have separate stats completely that are much more detailed, but this is just an overview and it gives you views, clicks, and leads for that particular site with a chart. And you can choose to hide this chart if you prefer not to see that. And if we move a bit further down the dashboard, you'll see this area here. This is where we organize the convert boxes. And we've introduced campaigns here. And campaigns are basically a group where you can put your convert boxes inside and organize them. And we've made these campaigns very flexible. So you can either use the campaigns simply to just organize your convert boxes into uh, different groups and uh, you can drag them around to, to organize them. Or you can set a goal for an entire campaign and that way when the visitor meets that goal, the entire campaign will stop showing to that visitor. Now that enables you to set up campaigns for different traffic sources coming to your site. So for example, this one here is for new visitors coming to the site. Um, you could set a goal for that and then and when they meet the goal, they'll no longer see this campaign of convert boxes and you can set different campaigns for different traffic sources. So you might set a campaign for new visitors as we have here and then a campaign for uh, returning visitors and a campaign for uh, visitors that come via a specific Facebook ad or um, a campaign for visitors that come via affiliate traffic and so on and so forth. Now on the actual convert box itself, we've got a few options. We've got the switched, so you can uh, quickly activate, uh, deactivate the convert box on your site. We've uh, obviously got the edit button there, which takes you straight into the editor to uh, customize it. We've got the preview button. So if I click the preview, you'll see a preview pops up on the dashboard so you can quickly see what it is you're working with. And uh, we've got some more button here, which basically will take you to a few more options you can view the detailed stats quickly for that particular convert box, reset the stats, clone, um, a very useful option to move to site. So you can clone a convert box, move it to another site and use it there really quickly and, uh, and obviously delete there as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a convert box and I'll start by creating a campaign so I can show you, uh, show you how that works. I'll create a campaign for our convert box. I'll call this uh, Dean's test campaign and we'll add a goal for this as well. I'm going to set a goal for a specific page and I'll put a, a URL in there for that goal. So when the visitor visits this specific URL, this entire campaign will uh, stop showing to that visitor. So let's save that. That will appear at the top here. Now we can go ahead and create a new convert box. Okay, so here we are in the editor and the first thing you want to do is give your convert box a name. So I'm going to call this Dean's convert box and then we want to select a campaign. You can create a campaign right here in the editor. If you click down here at the bottom, you can go ahead and create a new campaign um, just here, but we already created one. So I'm going to select that. It's uh, Dean's test campaign. And then you can choose the type of convert box you uh, want to use. So we've got bar, a slide in which is the small type on the side we've got the center modal and the full page so um, for this example i'm going to go ahead and choose the slide in then we go next now you simply turn on the elements that you want to see in your convert box so for this example i'm going to want my profile a headline and i'm going to want some buttons so what i'm going to do is i'm going to for this example i'm going to create 
uh, multiple options. So I'm going to add a second button here as well. And I'm going to create a second step for each of these options. Okay, so let's go ahead and edit the headline. You just double click. I'm going to paste in a headline here and make that bold. Now I'm just going to double click on the button and set some button text. So we'll call this one option number one, and then we'll call this uh, option number two. And then if you select the button, you can set the individual action for each button or what you want it to do. So by default, it's set to uh, link to a web page, but you can change this to either uh, close the convert box if you want to do like a yes or no option, or you can set it to open a second step, which is what we're going to want to do uh, with this example. And when we do that, you'll see it says uh, edit step two here. So if we click that, it will take us to uh, step two or where the visitor would be taken when they click this button. So let's go ahead and edit step two for this button. And again, here I'm going to want profile and headline. And here I'm going to want a video and an opt-in form. So I'm just going to grab an embed code for this video. If I select the video, I put the embed code in here. You can see the video loads up and we'll put a headline in here as well. Please this video. Okay, now when a visitor sees this convert box and they click option number one here, they're going to be shown uh, the second step with a video that auto plays and then this uh, opt-in form here. And as a side note, uh, a really cool feature that we built into convert box is if you put a video on on the first step, um, then on the second on the second step here, you'll be given another option above this video embed code where you can choose to play the video from step one or continue playing it when they go to step two, which is really cool because it allows you to play a video on step one. And then when they click the button below the video, you can change the content around the video without the video stopping, which means you could uh, show an opt-in form while the video continues to play or some other content. So that's a really cool feature that we uh, built into ConvertBox and works on all of them as well. So let's go back to step one now and let's set the action for option number two button. And uh, currently this is set to link to a web page and that's what I want to do. I'm going to leave this one to link to a web page and I'm going to set a URL here and I want that one to open uh, a link in a new tab. So now we've got option number one, which will open a second step with the video and the opt-in. And then option number two is going to open a new tab and send them to a special URL. And just to show you guys how easy this is as well, I'm going to also add a countdown timer here. I'm going to select this uh, and I want this to end on a specific date. So I'm going to set this for the 10th and um, we can change that color there to red. Okay, so we've set a countdown timer, two buttons and a two step there. And now we can set the position. Um, we can set it where we want to appear on our page. I'm going to leave it down here at the bottom. And now we can move on to the next step, which is the display rules. So if we go next here, you'll see we've got several options. First of all, we've got the option between either showing it on your website or showing it on a link that you're sharing. And this is a really cool feature. And um, basically, if you select this option, you put in the URL you want to show it on or the web page, and then you copy this link here. And when you send visitors to this link, then it was going to show on the uh, URL you put in the top. So this is a really, uh, really neat little feature we built in. But going back to the original option, because I want to show this particular convert box on my website. Now I can select when I want it to show. And we've got several options here. You can uh, show it at a specific time, a percentage page scroll. You know, if the visitor tries to leave the page, you can also uh, select this option here if you want to show it when they click a link and it's going to give you a special link that you can use there. But uh, for this particular one, I'm going to show it on a percentage page scroll and I want it to show at 50%. You can set the duration, how long you want it to show for. I'm going to set this to only show once. And um, you can also set specific pages that you want to include or exclude for this uh, convert box. But for this example, I'm just going to let it show everywhere. And now we've set up the display rules, we can go to targeting. Now we've got some really powerful stuff built into ConvertBox for targeting. And here you'll have the option between showing it to everybody that's coming to your website or targeting specific visitors that are coming to your website. So we're going to choose to target specific visitors. 
and then you'll see here you've got the option to add a visitor rule. So how this works is that uh, if you add rules here, the visitor has to meet all the rules for this convert box to show. So if we go ahead and add a couple of rules here, so I'm going to start with the number of visits. Uh, and I want this to be a returning visitor and they have to have visited my site two times or more. So I'm going to set that first and you'll see here it says number of visits. Visitor has visited my site two times or more. So we've got our first rule there. And then the second thing I want to set is I'm going to set an autoresponder activity rule. Now I'm just going to select the provider, which is active campaign. And in ConvertBox, you can add multiple accounts for each provider. So it also will ask you to select an account for that specific provider. Um, I'm going to select this account here. And then you'll be given uh, several options depending on what you want to do. So you can choose uh, if the visitor is on a list or is not on a list or has a tag or does not have a tag. So for this example, I'm going to say has a tag and then uh, we'll put test tag here and then we'll hit save. And you'll see this rule appears here now. So I'm just going to add one more rule and that is device type. So I want this to show only two visitors that are using a desktop. And that's because I'll probably create a separate one for mobile devices that's more suited to smaller screens. So now we've got three rules set. So if a visitor comes to our site and has visited the site more than two times, has the uh, tag test on active campaign and is using a desktop device, then they will be shown this convert box. Now we simply hit finish and then it's going to save this convert box and we can uh, go to the dashboard and if we go into the campaign we just created you can see there it is and if we uh, turn that on now it is live and showing on our website. So hopefully you guys liked this very very quick demonstration of just some of the things that you can do with uh, ConvertBox. By now you'll see the power of this you know this is this is incredible. Now this is not yet publicly launched However, it is still on the pilot program and I have a special link to the page where that pilot program is. Uh, you see on this page, you can only request an early invite. So if you fill this in, guys, this is the sales page, convertbox.com. If you fill this in, you would get notified when it's launched, which may be, you know, in the future and it will be definitely a monthly price. I've got the backdoor link for you where you can get this for a one time price and be part of the pilot program like I am. So um, I'm going to drop that below the video and it should appear now. So just down below this video, you will see the link that you have to take in order to get this for a lifetime access, one time payment, and you get everything in ConvertBox lifetime. Okay, so uh, grab hold of it now because I don't know how long this pilot program is left open. At any time, now especially ConvertBox has been rolled out and it has been has replaced ConvertBar, it's going to be not too long before Dean will want to make this into a monthly uh, software program because this, you know, people will pay, you know, $47 a month for this. Easy. Okay, uh, $200, $300 a year, easy for this. And you don't want to be doing that. You want, you know, if you're smart, get it now while it's lifetime and you're locked in. Okay, you won't have to pay monthly for this. And this is becoming, this is going to become even more awesome. Okay, <laughs> this is just the start of this. This is going to build and build and build. And this will be one of those tools that you could never do without. Now, you don't want to be, with a tool that you can never do without when you're paying monthly, okay? Because you're locked in on a monthly price, a bit like an autoresponder, yeah? But imagine if you uh, were able to get Aweber and they said to you, just pay us once and you'll never have to pay us again for, a, for however long you use Aweber. Wouldn't you have grabbed that deal way back in the day? Well, this is a bit like that, you know? Grab this now because this is going to be massively important as online business develops in the next few months and years. Okay, so the link is below this. Do the smart thing, grab hold of it. Thanks for watching. It's been a long video. I'm sorry about that. Thanks for watching anyway. Bye for now.